Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And, as promised, today we are going to um, start setting up a, a collection, collection, a management system for my cargo container here. So first we're going to need a station, we're going to call it 608 Cargo Test Site A. And the first thing you do with this is throw down a build block, because you don't want to lose everything. By accidentally deleting it, even though I cheated and gave myself extra money. Alright. I come down, and we're going to build me a little platform. I want the build block to stay a little higher than my platform for the time being. I don't know how big I want my platform to be. But we're going to start by... by uh, building a um, input for my cargo container. So we're going to need some rail. So I built this so this USD we would attach to USD and not flip it weird. So that means if it'll ch it should connect correctly to a rail pointing to the left. So we're going to throw some rails pointing to the left. We're going to hop in my, my uh, cargo container. I'm going to throw a rail docker in here, because I don't want to fool the magnetism. And... It threw me inside. Okay. But it docked, pro docked properly. And is moving very slowly. Okay. That means... You need... Uh, power... Power capacitors and mass rail enhancers. We're just gonna shoot a one of these off and we'll say this direction and build me a quick quick and dirty reactor thing. Alright, there we go. That's the power in that uh, 200,000 a second. And... Let's try... Oh, it's uneven. Whatever will I do? I'll take these out and... Link everything together so I get the bonus for the capacitors linking together. And put it up there. Hopefully, we won't have to fool with power again on this station. Hold on one moment. I'm gonna cough here. See if my mic will turn. Pardon me, allergy season. Anyway, and we want. Oh, let's go say 50 in not that direction. That direction. We'll throw out a couple of them. There we go. That should be able to, to handle... I pressed R. Why did I press R? That should be able to handle my uh, cargo container fairly easily. Let's see. And I had those pointing in the wrong direction. Stop that. Okay. Yeah, that works. I'm going to move this down. I'll say that far-ish. Because I want... I want some of these. I'm going to throw some of these here on this cargo block, or this rail block. And... Because I want this rail block to be the docking point for new cargo containers. Let's see. Alright. So when you come, I want it to dock to this point, and probably need to put like a, a light or something. Uh, there. And once it'll move, once you dock here, I want this. I want that to be controlled by something else. Let's see. Um, let's grab a real speed controller. Well, let's grab just all this logic stuff. So I don't know which ones I'm going to be needing immediately. And. This 
real speed controller here is going to be linked to that one. And it's a percentage. So let's see. Let that to be. Um, hold on. I'm just going to do this for testing sake. Uh, down, 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 down. Uh, right down, down. No, no, no. No, I don't want that to be connected to anything. Down, 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 down. Yes, I know it's not moving. That's intentional. I have to go right, 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 right. Make sure the direction it flows into it. Right, right, right. right. And I'll get rid of this once, once the uh, getting's good, or once it's time to get rid of this. Right now, we're just going to test my input controls. The idea is I'm going to have a have a um, spot to put a container and have a either a manual input or preferably a logic-y type thing that'll figure out, hey, is this system full? And if it is, it'll just hold it in the input until there's an available slot. That's the idea. Okay. Da -da, and... I want direction down. There we go. Okay. Now, theoretically, it should move all the way over and hit this one and stop. Although it would move into that one. Okay. Come on, Mr. Container. Because I'm using a rail speed, I could, I guess, swap the rail to something else. Yes, okay. So it hits this, and it's trying to move over. No, it's not trying to move. It's on this one, and this rail speed set to zero because it has one control module, and exactly 100% 100, 100 of the control modules attached to this rail speed controller are turned off. I turn it on, it should... Actually, I think it set it faster than normal. But it should allow it to pass through. Okay, except I want it to be on that one, not that one. Okay. That work? Let's see. Let's see. It's my flip flop. And it should stop right there. Why didn't it stop? It did. Okay. I was getting a little antsy. Or getting ahead of myself and stopped exactly on the one I told. Okay. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to attach it instead to a flip-flop. I can't attach it to a flip-flop. Ah! Didn't know you were going to do that. Alright, so it's attached that. Except I want this flip-flop not to be controlled by you. Be controlled to control you. I turn the flip-flop on and off. It controls the speed of that rail. Okay. Make sure this works. I test everything because, as well, I dabble with programming on the side. And I know if it looks like it should work, it probably doesn't. Ooh, I want to take that out so I can actually see the... See that? Okay. And turn that on. It works. Okay, so my... My basic input idea is valid. I'm going to leave this loop here for testing, because I want to add, um, well, testing. All right. Now, the idea is it comes in, you hook it to here, and if I'm going to have a logic set up here somehow, that if this uh, activation block, if there's room in the storage facility, it's going to trigger this flip-flop is the idea. This flip-flop will give speed to this rail and send it through the system. Now the problem comes in if I'm adding lots of these at once. Hmm. Ah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And if it says there's no space left, it'll trigger this flip-flop and say, no, 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 there's no space, hold it in, in the... Uh, Input gate, input gate, input rail, 
Hold it there, don't let it come anywhere near. I guess I could leave this loop. No, 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 we're not going to leave the loop. Okay. So there's no space. It's sitting there. The, the, the human here is going to have to do something with it. Or leave it there until there is space. So hopefully it'll be automated. So when uh, I go down, I want to have a similar output gate. So I click a button and it runs or throws one out of the system to me. And immediately say, oh, wait a minute, it's not full anymore. And it'll trigger that and slide this one into place. That's the hope. That's the hope and idea. So far. Well, we got this part done. More or less. I hope. So I think we're going to end it with there. And we're going to start laying out the first, first, I guess, the arm, first arm of my, uh, my uh, storage system next time. Except I need to do some homework before then, not homework like school gives me, I mean homework like um, how on earth am I going to do this type homework. Anywho, I've been JW608 and this has been Star Made. And we are slowly, slowly getting there. And we might even get there someday. Alright, I'll dig you cats later.